Shewu Ghazali Sadiq, a popular Nigeria Twitter personality, has made a controversial statement on his Twitter handle regarding the potential presidency of Bola Tinumbu, a prominent Nigerian politician. Sadiq claimed that a Tinumbu presidency would do nothing for the Igbo people and that the Igbo community has never depended on any Nigeria president to prosper. Wow, valid point. Tinubu presidency cannot do the Igbo people nothing. Can do Igbo people nothing because they have never depended on any Nigeria president to prosper. We all know that Igbos are born to prosper. You must be silly to think you can use Tinubu presidency to intimidate the Igbos. <laughs> yes, more like Jonathan's regime, he sidelined the Yorubas and they survived the six years. So if Tinubu decides to sideline any region, they would survive. And you wonder why you are anonymous. Abi? In his tweets, Sadiq wrote, Tinubu presidency can do the Igbo people nothing. The Igbos have never depended on any Nigeria. Even the good luck you are even talking about. They have never depended on any president of Nigeria to prosper. We all know that Igbos are born to prosper. You must be unreasonable to think that uh, Tinubu is going to, or the presidency will intimidate the Igbos. Mba no, it's not going to happen. Well, this one called Shew Ghazali is an Igbo man just because he's in the north where a northern attire claiming to be or looking like a northerner. He is never a northerner, just an iPod, iPod sympathizer. Okay, so he changed his name also to to another name okay oh. really everybody na igbo you know you'll be a wusa na igbo you be na igbo <laughs> so because he said the truth abby and that is the truth the man said the simple truth igbo always prosper without government more than others thank god you understand you are destined for grace and you want to rule nigeria by force you will fail and continue to fail until you know that politics is a game of number that you have to be friendly with other tribes especially you that cannot stay in your region you depend on others region to survive <laughs> which number nigeria politics is in is a game of rigging if it is number Igbo has the highest number <laughs> tell them they think say we care all Igbo wants is good is for the good of the people only a credible and corrupt free leader can bring can that can bring Yorubas and also Fulani will suffer more if Tinubu goes in Igbos don't really believe in governments because each individual is a government on its own we are progressive people with or without Tinubu presidency we will surely survive God has destined us for greatness no people can stop it. All their fruitless efforts to subdue us have always been in vain. That is why they didn't know how to play politics. They are doing gra gra from tail to face. How is that possible? Tell yourself the actual truth. Who was first? Atiku will tell you. Obi came first and I came second. Why the old drug lord came third? And he came second. Okay. We are egos, so okay, we're egos only God knows the source of our survivor. Nigeria State is very hostile to us. Now we we now the we we hide the price of commodities for markets. God's me rolling on the floor. Okay. Increase import duties and see how inflation will come in. And somebody is saying that they don't know how to play politics. No, your people will sabi play politics. We will continue to say it for as many who care to listen. Your people will know how to play the politics. How they don't better your life oh, and see what they have done. Have they? They know how to play politics and now they have ruined the country. They've ruined the country. They play the politics to the destruction of the country, and you are you are there shouting. I just look at people and I just, I just, I just, I just nod my head because. They are using their own blues to spoil other people's reggae because they don't know what it means to suffer. When they suffer, they don't. It's nothing to them. It's a way of life. Suffering is a way of life for many people who support all these politicians. God forbid. 
I support you because you are from my tribe. God forbid. You know, it, it, that is why you see politicians always get away with all this nonsense because they have a lot of useful fools who just, who don't think. And the politicians will be like, ah, ah. now while wow, we open all these bad, bad things, what would they do? We see how people will be say they see they support us. Well, in any case, you will see that God will still show them mercy. I will never regard Tinubu as my president unless it's proven beyond reasonable doubt and that he won the election fair and square. Otherwise, the authority that he will be upon is illegitimate one. Yes. This Igbo will surely leave Nigeria one day. And that is what they are looking for. This man is quite, quite controversial with this statement. This is a truth that has been hiding far below the trust that he has succeeded in assuming. Take it or not, it is a raw truth spoken. <laughs> now, truth talk, Malam Shewu, it is in their DNA. Remember that they all started with almost nothing after the Civil War. But look out where they are today in the world so people should stop wasting energies trying to stop people that can never be stopped the prosperity of an average ego man comes from the almighty god the creation of heaven and earth who always opens the eyes of the ego man to see in every environment that which the eyes of others often fail to see because their highs and hopes are fixed on the government reason the Almighty knows he is the only friend, the only one on whom the Igbos depend while others look strictly upon the government of Nigeria for their survivor. So Jonathan is no longer south-south from Bayesa of Niger Delta, but Igbo, where well, we are accommodating to accept all, including the Northerners. Hmm. By the time we will increase the prices of auto spare parts and other Goods they will begin to cry and cause Tinubu, even with Tinubu's Lagos Wahala, Igbo see they prosper, they buy all Yoruba land. <laughs> yeah, so what happened under Shagari and Jonathan? Truth can be bitter but sweet when digested with unbiased mind. Igbos and progress are naturally compatible. Oga, okay, you hit the nail on the head. In fact, most of the successful presidents have worked against Igbo's businesses, yet they are prospering. It is God's giving and you can't take it away from them.